everyone, welcome to my channel. So, for today's video, let me move that over. I'm going to be doing a swatch party video. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Anyway, of the Juvia's Place, this is the Magic Mini. I tried to order, I it said Magic Mini. Um, that's what I bought with the bundle. And then, like, I went back to their website to see if they had, like, a Magic Normal. Because this is the one that came with the bundle. I got this one and... Where is it? The festival together and a bundle. But this one's mini and this one isn't. So like the pans on this are much larger. Oh, I can't get it open. I make the best faces. Then this. This is so difficult. This literally, you need to have like, there we go. There we go. So see how the pans are a lot smaller in that than the other one? I don't know, but apparently they don't have a normal size of this, which is fine because I got the bundle for like 35 bucks. But anyway, so we're gonna do a swatch party with this palette. Um, this one should already be up when I'm filming this. I hope I filmed it. I, at this point, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. If I can open it. All right. Now, y'all know, don't come for me with the pronunciation of these names because I can't do it. I try. I try my best to pronounce some of these names, but I struggle. Just putting that out there. Also, I moved my desk forward and now you can see the backdrop and the um, the perfume, whatchamacallit, shelf. So I have like my perfumes up on the shelf and I also have like my display pieces. So I like moved, it, moved the desk forward and then you could see everything and now the backdrop isn't big enough. I don't know. It is what it is. Moving on. Starting off with this one, this is Nubia, which is a gold, wow, a rich gold. That is crazy how pigmented these, these shades are. It just, it amazes me what they can do. And you get, in the bundle, you get two palettes and highlighters for 35 bucks. That's crazy. Anyway, then this one is a matte. It's kind of like a burnt orangey red. And it is Zakia? I don't know. I have no idea. That's what that looks like. I love doing these swatch party videos. Now, remember, swatches are not everything. But these are so much fun to film. They really are. I love swatching things. So that's what that looks like. Then this pink one, Osan, I have no idea. Oh, it's actually kind of more like a coral pink. That's interesting. That's pretty. On camera, it's probably showing up bubblegum pink, but it actually has kind of some coral undertones, which I actually really like. That's pretty. Now, Juvia's Place does amazing amazing with their shimmer formula sometimes I have issues with the matte formula it just kind of depends on like what it is this one is Kessie which is you probably won't be able to tell on my skin tone it's very 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 light kind of it would be a good shade to um, like set eyeshadow primer with it's pretty so that's the first row now keep in mind, uh, if you're new here, I don't edit my videos, so everything you see is basically raw footage. And so you see me actually wipe everything up. Where's my water? I didn't bring my water over here. That was a stupid move. All right. Moving on to this row, Zubia. 
which is a little bit of a darker pink than this one. This one kind of has like some purpley undertones, I would say. Very, very pink. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I should have done that today on my eyes. That is so pretty. That's really pretty. You know who this would look good on? So, and she's probably watching this. One of my subscribers, Savannah. This would look good on you if you're watching this. You should get this palette. Sometimes when I make these videos, you guys, I actually think of you guys, the subscribers, and like those that interact with me a lot on a daily basis, like I think about you guys. And when I see something like this, it's like, oh, that would look really good on so-and-so. Never met him a day in my life, but it would look good on you. Moving on. This one is a darker brown color, kind of like a terracotta. Nana is the name. With that. Oh, it's kind of a burnt orangey. Yeah, terracotta, I think, would be the best explanation for that. I love that pink. And that's a matte. Then we have this shade, which is a coppery, horrible at describing things, but it's kind of a coppery dark brown. Oh boy. Bor Boranu? Bor I have no idea. Not a clue. It's a beautiful gold. Yeah, kind of like a burnt coppery color. Look at that shine. That's what that looks like. Moving on. This looks in person like a watermelon pink. Koji? Ko Kogi? Kind of red toned. Let's put that one above that pink. Yeah, see that's kind of like a watermelon color in person. It may not be showing up like that on camera, but that reminds me of like a watermelony pinkish red. So that was the second row. I love that pink. That's a gorgeous freaking pink. My hand is going to be raw after that, this, but that's okay. It's all for you guys. All right, third row. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Purple color would also probably look good with this eye look. Faso, Faso. Oh, that is so pretty. Hold on, I got to move stuff out of my desk. Oh, that makes my little Jamie heart happy. That's gorgeous. Oh my God. I'm gonna be using this palette a lot. I literally haven't even used this. I waited to do the swatch party video. We have this color, which is kind of a darker emerald green. Darker, darker than emerald green. Oh, oh Aja, 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 I have no idea. I wish I could pronounce things. This one is a little bit more dry. Looks like. And yet still pigmented. So this doesn't have as much sparkle as the other metallic -y ones I've been swatching. This is more of, it's kind of dry. It's a little bit drier than, it's still pigmented as heck. But it's a little bit drier of a consistency when you swatch it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. All right, I need a new thingy. I probably go through more makeup wipes than any human being should. Alrighty, then we have this one, which is kind of a gray toned blue with silver. It's a darker silver. Vi, V, Vi, V, A, I, I have no idea. I, just, I don't know. I'm sorry guys. That is what that looks like. It's basically a charcoal-y silver with like a little bit of blue undertones. I can kind of tell. That's pretty. I love 
silvers. Around Christmas time, I wear a bunch of silver, like on my eyes. Then this one, which is kind of like a silvery blue. Yamoja. I don't know. Why can't y'all have some normal darn names that I can pronounce? Oh, this is kind of more of a true silver. But definitely has blue undertones with that. That's pretty too. Yeah, so that's a... With minus the purple would be a great Christmas time look. And that is the third row. This is these videos take forever, but that's okay. Thank you to th those who actually watched them to the end. Okay, last row down here at the bottom. So this is kind of a dark royal purple. Now, how are you supposed to pronounce I f I f e ify I f e I I don't know. Like you. Anyway, it's matte. Again, a little dry for this one. Hmm. Oh, that's a no. Mm -mm. Yeah, that that's really dry, you guys. It's not a definitely not as pigmented, not as smooth. Hmm. Purples are hard. Purples are hard to make. Um, you build it up, that's okay. But it definitely does have a drier consistency, kind of gritty a little bit. Not a big fan of that. It's pretty. It's a beautiful purple, but consistency-wise, eh. All right. Then we have this one, which is like a lighter green, Yara. Again, with the blue undertones. Definitely like a sea foam green. That's what that one looks like. Then this one is kind of like a grass green, I guess you could say. Buzzo, Buzo. Drop me nuts with these names. That's what that looks like. Wow. That is Another one of my subscribers would look good in that. Jacob. Jacob, you would look good in that. Yep. He did a gorgeous look. I think it was the Alien palette from Jeffree Star. Or it was, It had to have been some type of Jeffree Star palette that had greens in it. Because it was like drop dead, breathtakingly gorgeous. Yeah, so Jacob, you're watching that. You should. You should get that palette too. And the last shade right here. Yejit. What the heck? Y E J I D E. Yejid D. I, I have no idea. I, this one is a little bit smoother. This is um, more smooth than that purple. This is kind of a dark blue. Oh, God, it's worse. Hold on. Let's, let's try to build this up. Hold on. Okay, um, no. Okay, let's try a different finger on a different part of the body. Okay. It's... I don't like that. It's just not there. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, gosh. And I'm gonna get it everywhere. Alrighty, then. This is a fun video, guys. Fun video. Well, that is the, what is this called? Magic Mini from Juvia's Place. I'm, d okay. So, with Juvia's Place, I love, love, love their shimmers. They have got that shimmer, that metallic, that sheen, that formula down. The matte formula is honestly not my favorite in my personal opinion. I've used it on my eyes and swatching it. It's not my favorite. There's 
better options but for the price is it worth it yes because most of their palettes are gonna consist of mattes and shimmers and when you put them together let me tell you guys you can create some awesome gorgeous looks gorgeous so swatch wise I would recommend this I would um, I will have to do a video using it on my eyes maybe compared it with the new palette that I got at the festival I have a bunch of Juvia's Place palettes, you guys. I have the Nubian 2. This is a bigger palette. I've got the Warrior, which is neutrals. This is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous palette. I've got the Deuce, which is my most used Juvia's palette. I've got, we're just going through the collection. I've got the Zulu, which is the brights and the neons and things like that. The Afrique. This is a unique palette. Definitely more like wild tones like this electric blue, this yellow, this green. I've got the Nubian, which is more neutrals. And then I got the Violets, which I've just got this, I've not used it, which is purples. So we'll have to do like a look using these palettes um because it is literally all over the place like you guys if you've ever seen a juvia's place palette or had one like you know it is all over the place but they're gorgeous and i love them and apparently i have an issue collecting them so that is it for today's video in this swatch party fiasco. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below. I am almost to 400 subscribers and when we get to 400 subscribers, I get to do another giveaway. So super excited about that. So that is it for this video. Yeah. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.